And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Taric. We're going to try out this new donation deck. We got four donation decks today. Three of them are going to be control decks that we're going to be playing after this. And then this is going to be our first one of our viewer submitted lists. So we're going to have our kind of uh, normal curve out stuff with Taric, right? We're going to have one drop, two drop, uh, Mentor the Stones being in here, Solari Priestess for our threes. Um, but then our champions, so Sivir and Taric are both of our champions, um, and they, they work pretty well together. And then we're going to have Ruin Runner up at the top end. Okay, so now one, one card that's going to be kind of cool with both of our cards is going to be Boomerang Blade. So Boomerang Blade is a 7-mana slow spell that I haven't really put in very many decks, I don't think. But it's an ally strikes the strongest and weakest enemies. And so this is going to be kind of our thing is trying to go Taric with this card, because this targets your Taric. Um, you yeah, like if you put it on your Taric, it will strike the strongest and the weakest enemies. So you, you get two strikes like that. And then you can have Taric support over and you can support onto, you know, a Sivir, a Ruin Runner, support onto whatever. And then whenever you support and copy the spell, you'll be able to strike two things again immediately. And then that that's um, part of like the support that just cast the Boomerang Blade immediately. And so it turns it into like a burst spell that gets rid of like two blockers right away. Um, before you know before you start attacking so that that's really cool so that's going to be something we're going to be trying here and then we're going to also of course be trying to level up sivir you know with dealing the damage with the boomerang blade and just dealing damage with whatever and whenever you have leveled up sivir it says all attacking allies have all of my keywords and um so we're going to combine that with out of the way where all the allied buffs are permanent. So um, how Sivir would give all of its keywords to everything else, well, we're going to make that permanent. So Sivir will permanently give all of your other stuff, Quick Attack and Spell Shield. Um, and if it has other keywords, maybe it has Tough from your Taric, because your, your Taric can give it Tough. So that would be permanent Tough to everything else. Maybe we played a Zenith Blade and gave Sivir Overwhelm, and now Sivir will give permanent Overwhelm to everything else with the Out of the Way. So I don't know, that's kind of what our deck's about. It's... It looks pretty cool. We're going to have a bunch of, so like our, our two champions are going to be really important. And we're so we're going to want them out there. And we're going to want to protect them. So we're going to have Ride Negation and Bastion to help protect them. Also a couple Ancient Hourglasses to protect them. Maybe if they play, if our opponents play like a Challenger that would kill our um, champions, we can save them with that. Uh, let's see. We also got Sparklefly that we can be buffing up because we're going to have gems from Mountain Goat, gems from Mentor the Stones. And of course, Mentor the Stones abilities, we can be buffing up the Sparklefly. That's going to be pretty cool. And that's got that's our deck. All right, so let's get to it. So we're going to try some Sivir Taric. First deck of the day, we'll go play our five games in ranked. All right, Renekton Sejuani. It's going to be tough to, with these uh, really large units. Now we'll have Hush, which we got Hush in our opener. That can stop a really big overwhelm. Uh, yeah, so if... If you have a leveled up Taric and it has the they can't take damage or die this round, if we play out of the way first, that will be a permanent can't take damage or die. So I want to keep all these cards. Like these are our important cards. I guess I'm just gonna keep them all. That's like kind of the one awkward thing about our deck, though, is that the two champions do want to be played on the same spot on the curve. Both at the four mana spot. So it looks like they're waiting on Rockhopper to play Rockhopper on, on turn three so that my four mana champion would get the vulnerable. Save the spell mana. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Nope. I will run you over. I could see them blocking here and going with the uh, Battle Fury. That's what I hope. Because it's eight mana. I 
Well, that's worse for me. Yeah, it definitely does look like they have more than that, too. Like, they're going to have more spells and everything, too. Because, yeah, because they, they removed the spell shield from the Sivir. They could have, you know, if they, if they didn't have anything else, like, there's no real reason to remove the spell shield. They could just uh, get rid of the, like, two from the Sparkle Fly. So I'm kind of guessing more troll chance. That's what it feels like. It's more troll chance. Chase what you want without mercy. Bow to no one. Like you, my brethren. Yeah, out, out of the way also when you have your leveled up Sivir that attacks and gives all the keywords out of the way can also be pretty cool with that too. good getting that crescent strike that can be useful um but yes the 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 immortality does stay around with Tarek with out of the way Would you look at this place? They, they have battle fury they do so do i want to okay yeah it's still this yeah so basically i was thinking do i want to get rid of the spell shield to be able to help out hush with the battle fury That's what I wanted to find. I assume Great Beyond's going to be able to kill them. Sometimes you just get big Celestials. But of course, our, our little Sparkle Fly did the work. And there we go. First win for Sivir Taric. So we got some uh, some Targon. So we're gonna keep Soldier and keep Pell Cascade. Nothing wrong with Ruin Runner, but you know I'd rather kind of find my champions and stuff like that. Ooh, out of the way. Can I wait till turn three to play out of the way? I mean, I guess I could, because I could go, like, out of the way on three, and then Soldier, and then Soldier's permanent 3-3. Three, three. But then, turn four, I won't have, like, Taric plus Pale Cascade, which is really what I want for turn four. I think I wait. It feels like my opponent has single combat. Yep, they do. So they're going to be going sharp sight single combat. So 
Well, I'll still go the the Pale Cascade. Yeah, I wish I could have Hush. Um, but I think we still go the Pale Cascade and just take down the Goat. And of course, they still trade. Alright, Sharp Sight's got me. Devotion to battle. I think that they have the the four or five challenger dragon. Well, at least that would be the worst thing for me to see. I play Sivir. They, I mean, it just trades with no. It kills Sivir because the dragon chow is going to be a five. So it's because it's going to be a five six. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Ooh, okay. Didn't play it. Don't have any spell for this Tarek right now. Where are you at? You're at 14, so not that close to leveling up. Chase what you want without mercy. Watch the fire breath this time. A soldier should know to stay out of the way. Yeah, I would definitely take that damage. I would take the seven damage also if I'm them and, and get the extra one one counter and draw a card on the Shivana instead of blocking with Dragon Chow. Especially a deck like this, like this kind of deck, like has all the, the star shapings, and like they have a lot of ways to heal their nexus, also like that. It's going to be more useful for them. Each life a rare jewel. Yeah, it, yeah, they're not really worried about like atrocity and stuff like that. So that's. That's too bad. All right, so seven mana. Look sharp. Trample up. Danger pays. Lost in reflection. Never submit. I don't know, I probably should have put one of those on Tarek to, to stop Shivana plus Sharp Sight. I've already played two Sharp Sights, but I guess I maybe should have put one of those on Tarek. That old trick again. So they have double hush, huh? Morning, take you. Oh, that's worse than double hush. Of course, my Sivir doesn't level up anymore. Great. It may just pass the turn again and have me waste all this mana. Yep. But I kind of have to keep Hush available and. They are, of course, a Hush deck, so. It's not like this. Yeah, so out of the way, let me keep Sivir keywords and also let me keep Tarek. Ability. Can't take damage or die. But they should be hushing Tarek. 
I mean, hopefully not, right? Like, they've already played one Hush. They We know they have two dragons from the draw two dragons. So they have two dragons, the random card they drew, and then one other card. So, like, maybe they don't have a Hush. That's certainly possible. To preserve beauty and protect you don't think the Sivir keywords stay? Why would they? Why would they not stay? I don't really understand why they wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, you said you you've tested this before and they don't stay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't, but I guess they don't. Yeah. See the the quick attack spell shield went away. No star should be bound. Said the Targonian. The can't take damage or die does stay. Okay, so that levels up Shivana. Yeah, I don't know why that, that doesn't stay either. It doesn't... Yeah, that's weird. So do I need 13 mana next turn or 11? Probably need 13. Cause, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably need 13. And that one goes probably not worth it. Now they'll pay attention. This would be a great time for like that boomerang blade of like, you know, have an ally strike the weakest and strongest enemies kind of thing. Just need a galaxy destroyed. All right, hoping no hush on their side. So we definitely know no hush on their side. So they're going to challenge, challenge, have two things die, do 13 damage to me. Which I think is perfectly fine. I can, I guess I can mountain go and get a gem. And just block Shivana. It's, you know, it's either that or again, save, save spell mana for next turn. But it's only one mana at this point to save eight life. I guess it would be 15 damage to me. So we'd save eight life. Time is money. All right, so I'm not going to let them kill my goat. Because I, you know, it's the only other unit that I have, so now we can uh, support on the mountain goat. So now the mountain goat has can't take damage or die as well. Don't let them through. Okay, so you just get you just get the, the you don't get to choose the other one, so you just get both two living legends when you copy the star shaping over. I don't know. I guess I could take the overwhelm thing, like. The seven mana overwhelm, like living legends, feels like it can get at, at worst get like that seven mana overwhelm also, right? Like it should, we should be able to find some cool stuff with this living legends. The the cosmic rays didn't matter, so it's either the seven mana overwhelm thing, which we can we can probably get that with living legends and something better, like and something else also. I wish these kept the quick attack spell shield. All right, we'll just kill our Tarek. See you, Tarek. You did good. I'll keep the mana. <laughs> Tarek says, no, I can't die. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. 
I'll pass. All right, so we're gonna have four and one, four and one. Um, I want the warrior. All right, so I guess I have a four and one and a warrior. I want to fall in combat with the Shivana though, which would mean I would just get the Trickster instead. Which, of course, the Trickster is an elusive that could help me uh, kill my opponent. Because you know the Shivana with the with the Strafing Strike, it is a little scary if they have hot. If they have Hush plus Strafing Strike, it could be a little scary. I guess they still have a dragon, right? Yeah, because they haven't played two dragons yet since. So we know, so they have these three cards. This one right here is a dragon, and then this one's an unknown. So that other dragon could be the other Shivana. There they go, finally. All right, 2-0. There we go. That that was the power of out of the way. None of, our things, none of our things can take damage or die. Neither champion. Okay, we got the Watcher deck. We do have a couple of Hush, and we have some other ways to find some um, Obliterates and stuff like that. Uh, Taric plus Ruin Runner, not bad. Do I need Ride of Negation against them for Vengeance and stuff? Maybe? So I have the attack token on the odd turns. I'm gonna get rid of Ruin Runner. Let's look for something a little cheaper. Yeah, because it doesn't say like give the other thing keywords or grant them keywords. Of course, the grant would stay on, but it's just they have the the keywords while attacking. Well, that's too bad. It works out like that. All right, so I could attack for one, but then they could play Catalyst of Aeons afterwards. It's just, it's one damage. I'm not going to risk a Catalyst of Aeons for one damage. Creepion could kind of be a surprise kill. I do have the again I have the attack token on the odd turn, so I do have the attack token on turn nine. Get a couple of very easy blocks. It's a good vile feast, a good good easy blocker. So the ancient hourglass has protection. They look angry. They're coming high. All right, so they have a lot of cards in hand. I'll go ahead and fall in Comet, the Lissandra, 
So if they go fading memories and stuff like that this turn, they you know they can't go fading memories, make a watcher, spectral mage, and make another watcher, stuff like that. Two more out of those seven. So I was kind of planning on going Hourglass here, but I do have just two other Sivers. Might as well just play a new Sivir that has Spell Shield again. And then, of course, we also get the, the five damage there for that. You will do as I command. If only I had twice as much mana, <laughs> I could Grave Beyond and then have Ride of Negation for protection and also buff up the Grave Beyond. I think I just play Grave Beyond and attack with the Grave Beyond, though. I think that's my best play. Basically force them to have, like, Vengeance or something like that. No, I... Yeah, they could they could also add Ruination, right? They could have gone the Ice Shard plus Ruination. There's a lot of ways we can still lose, for sure. I don't have anything to... target over. I wonder if... I guess that's a bad play. Because that's the thing, like, I don't want to kill any of these things. Because um, Spectral Matron, right? I don't want to give them room for Spectral Matron. A little snowball. This isn't looking so good. Stinging cool. That's what I was hoping. I guess we know they have two others. So this is going to get really big. This is going to be fun. Yeah, 14. Brave and dumb. I just have to block there because if they have Vile Feast, I lose. That also does get rid of that Trundle that's been bugging me. Okay. Gosh, this other ice shard. I mean, I can simply just attack like this, I guess, but um, it's only seven. Yeah, it doesn't even, doesn't kill them. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. That attack really hurt. That I had to waste time to play this other ruin runner. Never 
No. Just found a flash freeze. That would have worked. Watch your deck is still my bane. Yeah, I, just, I can't stay alive. I have two, two health. I can, yeah, I have the champion spell to put a card back, but I can't stay alive being at two health. Okay, Maokai Nautilus. Play against some deep. I can see keeping an hourglass uh, to protect against Jaw Hunters. Love it. Alright, we got the Boomerang Blade. So I have the attack token on the odd turn, so turn 5. I'm going to, going to want to Boomerang Blade this Taric. And copy it over to the Mountain Go. Not going to be easy to pull off. Don't worry. I am here. All right, this is going to be my first time trying this combo out. Let's see how it does. Boomerang Blade with the Taric. Hopefully this works. We found out that our Taric, or sorry, that our Sivir plus out of the way combo does not work. So hopefully this combo does work. All right, so yeah, they, they just don't play another thing. So I can attack for six and get Tarek to be two out of seven, or I just pass and they waste this mana. I kind of want to just pass and they, it's only two mana that they waste, but they don't get to like put, you know, like a Maokai in play afterwards, right? They could, they could really help speed them up. Okay. Yeah. Y'all are saying the boomerang does work. Two, three, four. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Yeah, but see, if I would have attacked, they would have been able to put like this stuff into play last turn after combat. And now they don't get that ability to. All right, so you know that they're going to be playing uh, six mana. Oh, I don't have the mana for Hush. I saw that I had mana for hour. I don't have the mana for Hush. Oh, they're playing that thing. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the six mana thing to, to take out my Taric. It's a living. Um. Heads up. All right, I think they got me. Yeah, that, that treasure. Kinda OP. <laughs> 388 fearsomes. I think they got me. Darn, they blocked. So I can save. I can save one with the hourglass. 
Which one do I save? That's what I was expecting them to do last turn, was Devourer. Alright, I guess having three mana 1-1s, one <laughs> it's not going to be five mana, get three 8 8 fearsomes. Alright, and we have Elise. Some aggro. I think we got a better chance of winning this one than we did against the... Uh, deep deck that that was a great deep hand you know they they had a very good curve and good top end so good game you know, it started with with one drop toss they had the two two mana sea monster they had the uh, um, the landmark a bunch more toss cards I forgot we had Zenith Blade in our deck. No I haven't seen that one in a minute. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Back heretic. So I think I'm just passing. I could play Tarek. Um, actually, yeah, I guess I'll play Tarek. I'm ready to shine. Wow. Got them to waste some mana. That's good. So it looks like they have fervor. The mountain endures. Boomerang Blade. I'm very glad we have the star shaping. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Hey. No. Down to six. Back up to eleven. Not really playing any of these anytime soon.
I want to save those gems in case of another Frenzied Skitter. You know, they don't have the mana for Frenzied Skitter anymore, but that's what I was kind of worried about. Like, Frenzied Skitter, make these not fearsome. And then I was going to, you know, not be able to block fearsome. And then I was going to make them be able to block fearsome again afterwards. All right, Boomerang Blade time. Now we get to actually really use this. I probably I used it too early in the other game, right? Like, I, I need to wait for them to play more, have more things in play. First... Man, that boomerang blade is sweet. <laughs> they just had five units, now they have one. Alright, that was pretty cool. Alright, so that was pretty sweet. Boomerang blade plus Tarek. Alright, so there we go. That was Sivir, Tarek. Um, some cool combos. Not every combo worked, as we found out with Out of the Way and the Leveled Up Sivir. That didn't work, but we saw there that last game, the Boomerang Blade with the Tarek definitely works, and that was really cool. Um, so, you know, pretty cool little deck here. Now, not necessarily, like, one of the, the best decks or anything like that, but it was a fun one to play, and just another interesting way to use Tarek. And that's what we do here on the channel, is find new and interesting decks to use. All right, but that's it here for Sivir Tarek. So uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. So let me know what you think of the deck. But thank you so much for watching some Sivir Tarek, and I will see you for the next video.